Do you want to learn how to trade stocks and cryptocurrency? Join our community of traders. Go to richpicksdaily.com and find the next 10 bagger. Hey guys, how you doing? This is Rich from Rich TV Live, and I got some breaking news from Halo Collective reporting record first quarter results. Halo Collective Inc., symbol H-A-L-O on the Neo Exchange, looks like this on the Neo Exchange right there. Currently up slightly today with some big volume on the news, and this is their website, haloco.com. Halo Collective is a leading vertically integrated global cannabis company, and they're growing, folks. Look at this. So the symbol on the OTCQX is HCANF, and in Frankfurt, Germany, A9KN. Now, remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for information education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we discuss here in Rich TV Live. Let's talk about the news here from Halo Collective. Today announced its financial and operational results for three months ending March 31st, 2021. The company reported record revenues of $9.9 million for Q1 2021, a 123% increase compared to the previous year. This includes the sale of over 5.2 million grams of cannabis products, principally to dispensaries in Oregon and California, a 253% year-over-year increase. Organic revenue grow, growth was 62%, the highest organic growth record in the company's history. The company also reported a gross profit of $2 million, an increase from 172.2 thousand for the three months ended March 31st, 2020, Q1 2020. The adjusted gross profit was 2.2 million compared to 117.4K in Q1 2020. So huge year-over-year -year growth when it comes to the balance sheet. The reported gross margin in Q1 2021 was 19.7% in comparison with minus 3.9% in Q1 2020. Complete results are reported in the company's consolidated financial statements for the three months ended March 31st, 2021. Let's see what they had to say. In response to the company's record results, CEO and co-founder Kieran Sidhu commented, now in 2021, we will begin to reap the rewards that we initiated with the change in our product range in 2020. We exceeded our own sales forecast by almost 1 million, and we believe a further increase in sales is possible. With the possible startup of Bar X Farms, the first major sales by Bothello, the startup business and flower shop, which recently sold out in its initial launch of 1,200 units in a few hours. That's impressive. The expected sales by Canmart and the three planned dispensaries in the Hollywood area. We remain on target to achieve our overall revenue target of $75 million for this penny stock. Philip Vanderberg, CFO and co-founder, continued. The Q1 results demonstrate we are on target to 2021 guidance previously communicated. When we released our financial statements for the year ended December 31st, 2020, we provided guidance of annual revenues of $75 million for the fiscal year ended 2021 and positive EBITDA by the fourth quarter of 2021. Our first quarter showed that the core business is growing fast and margins are improving across all operations. With the exception of Oregon cultivation and potentially California dispensary assets, the company will be slowing down our acquisitions. There we go, which should significantly reduce our corporate costs, in turn leading the company to profitability and also less dilution because they did a lot of acquisitions with stock. Halo Collective will host a conference call and audio webcast with Kieran Sidhu, CEO and co-founder, Philip Vanderberg, CFO, and Katie Field, President at 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time on May 18th, 2021. Here is the information for the webcast. Feel free to listen in. I'll do my best to try to live stream it as well. So Q1 2021 financial results revenue. Revenues in Q1 2021 were 9.9 million compared to 4.4 million in Q1 2020, a 123% increase. Total sales were $5,230,019. The, 
sorry, 5,230,019 grams. Q1 2020, 1,481,756 grams, a 253% increase. That's impressive. The average mix price was $1.90 Q1 2020, $3 per gram, a 36.7% decline explained by a higher proportion of lower price flour, pre-rolls, trim, and fresh frozen in comparison with Q1 2020, organic revenue growth was 62.4%. The company's subsidiaries, AM Inc., Mendo Distribution and Transportation LLC, and Halo Winbury Holdings LLC all reported strong performance in the period under review. AM reported revenues of 4.4 million, 11.5% increase over Q1 2020. MDT reported revenues of 1.9 million, a 346% increase over Q1 2020. Coastal Harvest reported revenues of 3.4 million, an 88.6% increase over Q1 2020. Halo Winbury reported revenues of 3.4 million. Halo Winbury results were not included in three months ended March 30th, 31st, 2020. AM. In Q1 2021, AM, the owner of the company's facility in Oregon, sold 1,320,420 grams of shatter, cartridge oil, live resin, tinctures, and gummies, flour, and pre rolls. Q1 2020, 1,438,451 grams, an 8.2% decrease. Sales of oil and extracts were 516,412 grams. Q1 2020, 535,725 grams, a 3.6% decrease. The wholesale price of oils, extracts, and edibles increased by 15.6% to $6.47. Q1 2020, it was $5.60 per gram. Flower sales in Q1 2021 were 705,970 grams. In Q1 2020, it was 833,037 grams, a 15.3% decrease. The wholesale price for flour increased by 15.7% to $1.24 per gram. In Q1 2020, it was $1.07 per gram. Pre-roll sales were 98,038 grams. Q1 2020, it was 69,689 grams, a 40.7% increase. The wholesale price of pre-rolls increased by 94.6% to $2.06 in Q1 2020, a dollar six per gram. The average mix price across all products was $3.35 per gram, equivalent in Q1 2020, $2.76 per gram, a 21.4% increase. MDT in Q1 2021, MDT, the owner of the facility in Ukiah, sold 193,374 grams of distillate, live resin, gummies, and pre-rolls. In Q1 2020, it was 37,263. The average price decreased by 4.6% to 9.90. In Q1 2020, it was at $10.38. Halo Winbury. In Q1 2021, Halo Winbury, a fully owned subsidiary of the company, received conditional approval to execute the asset purchase agreement to acquire the assets of Herbin Industries or LLC and therefore consolidated and recorded the results of Winbury under Halo Winbury. Consequently, Halo Winbury sold 2,529,599 grams of oil and extracts, shatter, live resin, edibles, flour, pre-rolls, and trim at an average mix price of $1.35. Prices range from $15.78 per gram for oil, $11.55 for live resin, $0.15 for extracts, balm, and lotions, 86 cents for edibles, $1.70 for flour, $9.70 for pre rolls, to 14 cents per gram for trim. Gross profit the company reported a gross profit of $2 million in Q1 gross loss. Q1 2020, they had a gross loss of $172,000. So, huge increase there. Adjusted for the loss on the biological assets, gross profits were $2.2 million. Q1 2020, it was $117,000. The reported gross margin was 19.7% in Q1 2020, minus 3.9%. Adjusted for gains and losses on the value of biological assets, the gross margin was 22.1% in Q1 2020, 24%. The months of March was specifically strong for an aggregate gross margin across operating units, 
of 27.9%, broken down by subsidiaries, A&M was 23.6%, MDT was 29.7%, Coastal Harvest was 31.8%, and Halo Winbury was 33.6%. So you can break down all the fundamentals and the operating losses and gross margins and revenue, impairments, and it breaks down the operating expenses and EBITDA. I'm not gonna go through all of this in this press release, but feel free to go through it. Let's take a look at the cash on hand. As of March 31st, 2021, the company had unrestricted cash available in the amount of 10.3 million and working capital in the amount of 22.5 million. So the company is very well, they're, they're, they're well reserved with cash. Cash used in operations in Q1 2021 was 9.4 million. Cash used for investing was income of 1 million. And cash raised from finance activities was 15.9 million. Total cash inflow was 7.6 million. So what I see there is that the company actually had 7.6 million of additional cash come into the company. On February 2nd, 2021, the company closed an overnight marketed public offering of units of the company for aggregate gross proceeds of 7.2 million. Company closed an overnight marketed public offering of units of the company for aggregate gross proceeds of 9.1 million on February 19, 2021. Okay, now they're gonna go through the, all the corporate M&A activity. They've done a lot of mergers and acquisitions. I'm not gonna go through all of it, but you can see that there's a lot of acquisitions here. Okay, and a lot of it is used with stock. So for example, on March 2nd, 2021, the company issued 23,690,385 Halo common shares as a pre-closing non-refundable deposit in relation to the closing of the acquisition of SDF11 LLC, a dispensary license applicant on Franklin Avenue, LA. Additionally, Halo issued 118,650,349 Halo shares to close on the acquisition of the associated management company Black and Crimson LLC. So you can see a lot of these acquisitions are being made in stock. And that's one of the reasons why the price hasn't been going up. On March 2nd, 2021, the company issued another 23,690,385 Halo shares as a pre-closing on non-refundable deposit in relation to the closing of acquisition ZXC11 LLC, a dispensary license applicant in Santa Monica, LA. Additionally, Halo issued 118,650,349 Halo shares to close on the acquisition of the associated management company, POI11 LLC. So I think that moving forward, you're not going to see as much of these acquisitions, which hopefully will stop the dilution in the securities because you can see that Halo has a lot of shares out. And that's one of the biggest reasons why this price hasn't gone up, despite the fact that the business is really growing. Okay. Now they break down in the press release, everything they're doing in all of the different markets. I'm not going to go through all of it. Feel free to go through this. Um, there's a lot of information here. And I'm sure they'll talk about it in the conference call tomorrow. Once they do the conference call, but just to reiterate, Halo Collective Inc. is a leading vertically integrated cannabis company that cultivates, extracts, manufactures, and distributes quality cannabis flower oils and concentrates, and has sold approximately 9 million grams of oils and concentrates since inception. Halo continues to evolve its business and scale efficiently, partnering with trustworthy leaders in the industry who value the company's operational expertise in bringing top-tier products to market. Current growth includes expansion in key U.S. markets, the United Kingdom, and Africa, with planned expansion into the Canadian retail market. Halo is led by a strong, diverse, and innovative management team with deep industry knowledge and blue chip experience. The company is currently operating in the United States, in California, and Oregon. The company sells cannabis products principally to dispensaries under its brands Hush, Mohave, and Exhale, and under partnership or license with OG DNA Genetics. Terp Terpogues and Flower Shop, a cannabis lifestyle and conceptual wellness brand in which GEZ is a partner and key member of Flower Shop. As partner of continued expansion and vertical integration in the US, 
Halo boasts several grow operations throughout Oregon and California. In Oregon, the company has a combined seven acres of outdoor cultivation, including East Evans Creek, a six acre grow site in Jackson County, and Winbury Farms, a one acre grow site located 30 miles outside Eugene in Lane County. In California, the, com the company is building out Ukiah Ventures, a planned 30,000 square foot indoor grow processing and manufacturing facility, including up to an additional five acres of industrial land to expand. Recently, Halo partnered with Green Matter Holding to purchase Bar X Farm in Lake County, developing up to 80 acres of cultivation, which would comprise the largest grow in California. Internationally, the company's subsidiary, Othello, is currently cultivating cannabis in Lesotho, which holds one of the most extensive marijuana cultivation licenses in Africa, with a future capacity of up to 495 acres. To further Halo's global presence, the company has recently acquired CPP, CBPM importation and distribution licensing in the United Kingdom via cannabis suppliers Canmark. Halo expects the cultivation and manufacturing operations of Bothello combined with the importation and distribution capabilities of Canmark to drive a well-positioned business to serve the UK market. The company also has acquired a range of software development assets, including technology platforms CanPOS, CanaLift, and more recently CanaFeels. Halo also owns the discrete sublingual dosing technology AccuDab. The company intends to spin off these assets along with its intellectual property and patent applications into its subsidiary Halo Tech Inc. and complete a distribution to shareholders on a record date to be determined by Halo. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. So they could do a potential spin out one day, which is very interesting. What do you guys think of this news? Halo Collective Inc. reports record first quarter results. This is them on the Neo Exchange. Pretty massive revenue. And for a penny stock, the only issue I see here is the shares. There are many shares in the billions, just under 2 billion shares. And that creates a lot of dilution and is holding the price lower. This is the website, haloco.com. You can follow them on all social media, on Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Instagram, and Facebook. Scroll down, and you can learn more about Halo. Global positioning and reach. Halo Collective is built for long-term success. Cultivation, manufacturing, distribution, and retail. They literally have their hands involved in everything. This is their global reach. So you can see Alberta, Canada, Oregon in the United States, California, Nevada, England in the United Kingdom, Malta in Europe, and Lesotho, Africa. So well positioned for global expansion. Vertically integrated, our cultivation, Halo Collective is vertically integrated across the globe with streamlined cultivation sites. And learn more about Bar X. East Evans Creek, Othello Bioscience, and Yakaya Ventures. All this information on their website, like I said, on haloco.com. This is the Halo Collective brand portfolio. We have a diversified product line ranging from flour to concentrates and edibles. These products also vary in grade, ranging from higher to lower, to appease all consumer wants at various price points. And they're also entering into the psychedelic revolution. So they're getting into psychedelics as well. And I'm a big fan of psychedelics and how it's going to change the future of medicine. Halo is also getting into psychedelics. So not only are they vertically integrated in the cannabis space, but they're also getting into psychedelics. So this is a company that's getting their hands involved in everything. Keep up to date with their news. And they will be doing a conference call on May 18th. Stay tuned for that. I'll do my best to try to live stream it if I can. If I'm available, I will. What do you guys think of this news? This is Rich from Merch to be Live. We bring you the winners, we bring you the news, and we bring it to you first. If you guys like this video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe for future updates. Hit that bell for notification. Every time we go live with breaking news or updates or CEO interview, you'll know first. Thank you for watching. If you're not winning, you're not watching. We bring you the winners. We bring you the news and we bring it to you first. Thank you guys for watching. 
This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and I'm out. Thank you.